What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video, I wanna talk about UFC 232, Jones versus the Guftison and Amanda Nunes versus Cyborg, post-fight quickie analysis for you guys. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, in this channel, OG Fitness, the OG is actually for older guy. Uh, it's all about fitness and martial arts for the older man, right? Or gal. Uh, and not to say that young cats can't benefit from this. Of course you can. And for all of you guys, uh, all of the young guys here that are subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. And um, I mean, the information, I, my focus is really on longevity, uh, joint preservation, and of course, staying strong and keep on so that we could practice strong and healthy so we could keep practicing martial arts uh, until the day we die so <laughs> I know that might sound a bit morbid but hey we, we none of us are getting out of this alive so um, let's dive right in okay so the first fight uh, Nunez versus Cyborg holy fuck I just saw this uh, this morning and uh, you know what I, I, I kind of realize is that well, the deciding factor in this fight, in my opinion, is that Nunez has, um, is more technical and more precise in her boxing. Among other things, too, she's really, uh, I mean, big and long. Not big as in fat, but she's a big girl and she has a very long reach. She has power and her boxing and um, her technique her precision was better. Whereas I feel Cyborg is very powerful. I find she tends to brawl more and she just takes hits because she can't take hits. But I think she never ran into somebody as powerful as, um, as Nunez, right? So, I mean, Nunez knocked her the fuck out. So, wow, that was, man, I I'm sure that was somewhat traumatizing especially if you're someone who's been dominating for so long and just overpowering your opponents and you get in there and all of a sudden like you're met power with power uh, brutality with brutality and and you know like you uh, you weren't able to um, to have an answer to that you know and I would venture to say that she was out, Cyborg was outclassed by Nunez. So congratulations to Amanda Nunez. Uh, I think she's already the champ. So now she's, I, I don't see anybody beating her um, anytime in the near future, right? So, okay, so that's, that's that one for that fight. And uh, so then I watched uh, John Jones and Gustafson. I watched it this morning and fuck does John Jones look good. I mean, this guy hasn't fought in God knows how long, right? And, you know, ring rust and, and all that. It can't be a real thing. And it could, it is a real thing. But for some, some people are able to, um, to come back after a long break and still look that good. You know, I guess it's mentality, the way he trains and so on. And I found that he, he outclassed Gustafson. He had more uh, tools, right? John Jones, like, in my opinion, is the greatest fighter of all time. Till this point. And I know, I know, you know, guy, there's, there's a lot of issues with, uh, you know, him testing positive for, uh, for peds and stuff like that. But I mean, that aside, that aside, I know it gives... Uh, advantages I know that it gives you more confidence so you you train more you have more uh, you have more hours in training so you can develop evolve faster and also that it gives you a certain confidence right because well the better you get the more confident you get but because you're able to train non-stop because you're recuperating so fast then yeah I, I understand that but I'm just saying I'm just looking at pure fighting like what he does inside the octagon right like never mind all of that other stuff i understand the arguments of uh, you know against him right but never mind all of that just look at the way he fights and holy shit this guy is creative uh he has so many tools in his belt he's relaxed he knows how to use his reach and up until gustafson he always had the reach advantage right 
which made it, and nobody was able to solve that, uh, that puzzle. And then Gustafsson came along, gave him a hard time and in the first fight. And in my opinion, the reason why he gave Jones such a hard fight, because Jones probably didn't even take him seriously. I, I'm not even sure he trained. And I think he was out partying. I mean, they found, I don't know if it was that fight or, or another fight, but you know, like they found like cocaine metabolites and all kinds of shit. But whatever, man. Like, um, I still see him as the most dominant fighter. And what I, what I really enjoy about him is that he beats, he doesn't knock guys out. He doesn't have that knockout power, but he TKOs people. He beats them until basically they're like half alive and uh, the ref got to step in. And that's, that's fucking demoralizing. That's traumatizing to have someone beat down on your ass and you're just there and you're like fucking helpless and you're still awake and you're getting punched. You're like, ah. So pretty wild stuff. And, and that's why I like about Jones is that even though he doesn't have knockout power, he, he beats people down like, you know, like nothing, really. And so Gustafson in this fight, I find that all he had was his boxing. But because of uh, the use of leg kicks and all his diagonal kicks, the side kicks, which I find are beautiful. He uses them so well. You know, it's, it's kind of a lot of this. I remember Bruce Lee talked a lot about these types of kicks, you know, like to stop the guy's movement, you know, to, to injure his knee and stuff like that. And also, so Jones used that in a, in a very, how do you say, it, magical way almost, you know. He stopped the kick, made him kiss, made, kept uh, Gustafson uh, honest, so to speak, kicked the shit out of his leg. And because of that, since Gustafson is primarily a super good boxer, I mean, if you, if you start messing with his base and his mobility, because now he can't move as, you know, and also he, he's, he's hesitating to come in because he's getting leg kicked all the time. He's getting teeth in the stomach all the time. Then, you know, like it, it kind of like canceled out his, um, his game, right? His, his, uh, his, his uh, strong uh, attributes, which is boxing. And after that, of course, at one point, I think that what happened is that uh, Jones realized that Gustafson wasn't as mobile and you know so he took him down right because now like all of a sudden if you don't have your legs right or at least one of your legs is busted up and you can't move as well it's really hard to you know sprawl and brawl and 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 so on so he took him down and then from there Jones wow you know his top game what do you what can you say really really high level shit and then he beat him and he beat him and then the ref jumped in so that's it Jones looks fantastic um and i've always said this about him that i really think he's the greatest of all time he beat guys who were legendary who were monsters and he beat even some of them in their prime and he made them look like it was like he was beating on a kid you know like an adult a much taller adult like just beat up on a little kid and, and that's how he made them look and then of course you know, everyone was saying, like, uh, after he fought Gustafson the first time, oh, yeah, well, you know, you see now, like, he fought a guy that same size, same reach, more or less, and, you know, he had a hard time, so maybe it was due to his size and stuff like that, but he showed today, like, wow, wow, this guy can fight, like, it doesn't matter if you're the same size as him or not, like, he'll, he'll make his adjustments, oh, and he did, he did fight another guy who was that tall, I think it was uh, Ovis St. Pearl. But I think in that fight, he won by decision. He wasn't uh, as impressive as he normally was, but I think he was just out partying and shit. So, <laughs> and he didn't even prepare. I don't know, Jones is, Jones is crazy, man. But that's it, man. So s say what you will about him, but he's still, in my opinion, a finisher and one of the greatest finishers in, um, in MMA history. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. We could have a little discussion about it, you know, and uh, that's it. So like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Of course, share this video if you, uh, if you want to share it. It helps me, uh, helps me, helps the channel grow, and I appreciate that very much. So thank you very much for your time, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.